Hey guys, it's Jack the Vegan Dad here. Today I'm going to show you my Costco monthly food shop here. So if you're unaware, we try to spend about $720 a month on our food. So we try to spend once a month $170 at Costco and this is it here. So let's get into it. So we've got a couple of different pieces pieces of items uh, this month that we don't normally buy which we're willing to try so I'll show you a couple of bits and pieces but there's a few other items that we generally buy that we've run out of stock and we're just kind of replenishing but the first off the bat is um, a one kilo tub of spinach we chuck spinach into a majority of our meals on a good portion of our meals and into our smoothies as well so the buy a one kilo pack is quite handy for us to have so just chuck it in the fridge and that'll stay fresh in there for a little while probably only lasts us maybe a couple weeks we haven't tried this before so we just want to test to see the freshness and how long it lasts but otherwise we might end up buying two of these a month um, diced tomatoes or well, these aren't the diced ones these are the peeled tomatoes the same and same really um, I try to chuck these in a couple of meals once a week, so this will generally last maybe once a month or once every two months, so it's nice to add into a couple pasta dishes or soups or whatever I'm kind of doing. Um, now I've got these rice rolls, these are great for the kiddies, so all natural, low sodium and a vegan little treat. So all it is, is just a little sing singular rice treat for the boys. So there's rice, I'll show you the ingredients. So you got rice in it, you got um, oh, sustainable palm oil, sugar, and your malt syrup, and that's really it. So pretty straightforward sort of snack. It's easy to chuck in the bag, and you know, the kids love them, and there's really not too much to them. I mean, I've eaten one before and they don't actually really taste anything amazing but you know if you're looking for a little treat for the kids this is a nice little one to go to um, <clears throat> also got some oil we don't generally use a lot of oil um, our last bottle of oil one liter bottle of oil actually lasts us probably about four or five months so we're trying to cut down on our oil um, unless it's necessary in some meals so that was quite reasonably priced as well. Um, Savoy's, we do a lot of entertaining and you know it's hard to find other like vegan friendly plain biscuits. So Savoy's are normally our safe bet, but these generally last us about uh, three or four months. So just see if we've got people over or doing little uh, snackies for the kids or whatever. Also over here, we got a two pack of apple cider vinegar which is actually, um, I kind of use these in my cakes and pancakes and stuff like that because it kind of gives it a bit more fluffiness. It's kind of a substitute for eggs as well. You can use it in that regard. Um, but apparently it's really healthy for you as well. So <laughs> that's always an added bonus. But this was quite reasonably, reasonably priced for a two pack. So we've got some uh, hulled hemp seeds. This was really good value. I think it was only about $22 for this packet, which um, you go to your health stores and like you get probably half of that for about $16. So I mean, this is really, really good for you. So you get your omegas out of this, um, your antioxidants obviously, and has plenty of protein in it as well. So really good. So you just normally, we just normally sprinkle it into our uh, salads or chuck it into um, smoothies. We've, I've actually just ripped this open and just chucked it in the fridge, half of the packet anyway, because it's, you gotta keep it in the fridge to kind of get the benefits or keep it fresh anyway. So um, yeah, so that was really good value. So we haven't bought these before, so we're really pumped to get into that. Uh, we also got some organic uh, apple juice. So this is just something that we chuck into some of our smoothies to give it a bit more sweetness. That will actually probably last us probably three or four weeks itself there so we don't put a lot in generally we just put a bit of water or milk and then kind of sweeten it up with a bit of the orange juice we also found these these were quite reasonably priced as well the acai um i don't know blends so you chuck these into um your smoothies great little boost 
kind of like a superfood really. Um, really great antioxidants and really good for you. So all it is, open the satchel, chuck it in with your smoothie or whatever you're doing, onto your oats or your muesli, and away you go. It's awesome to have, good value. Um, yeah. Um, again, hummus, we, we love this hummus. But I don't know, I must be doing something right because we've only bought one tub this month. So I obviously bought too many the last couple of months and we're kind of stockpiling them. Um, the expiry normally lasts pretty good on this as well. So we haven't had a problem with that, but only one this month. And that's the same with the butter. So good value on this, good large tub that goes into a lot of our meals, onto toast, um, baking and all that sort of stuff. But again... I, I've I've bought probably too many in the last couple of months, so we only needed to buy one this month to get us across the line. <clears throat> so finally, the last little bit, the three berry blend. So you got your raspberries, your blueberries, and your blackberries. So we chuck this into our oats in the morning, into smoothies, and we probably go through one of these once a week between the four of us. So my wife, myself, and our two boys. So we generally just put in a cup into our oats in the morning, you know, it's really good to have really easy, low calories, really good antioxidants as well. So really, really good. So, I mean, for about $13 a packet, it's quite reasonable considering how much we go through. So, like, all this came to about $160, which is under budget. Generally try to go 170 so... Woohoo! <laughs> so we spent the last remaining money on some books for the boys. Costco is like Audi. They got like this little mi middle section where there's books, there's clothes, all sorts of things. And my wife normally gets sucked in, so that's what we ended up going home with: ten dollars worth of kids' books. So not too bad. Pretty happy with the fact that it came under budget this month. So there's a couple of different items that we don't normally buy. So. We're really keen to get into it and try them out. But if you guys got any other suggestions or feedback on any of these items, uh, give me a shout out in the comments or send me an email. Um, yeah, so really, really happy. Give us a like, give it a share. Um, all your feedback is really greatly appreciated. And stay tuned for more of these soon.